just walking around and um, going through some kind of field and stepped in the wrong spot. William Cook was just 18 years old when he stepped on an IED while he was deployed in Iraq. I just remember the feeling of like uh, the large amount of pressure on my body and the next thing I know I'm looking up at the sky. Cook, now 22 and, uh, years old, lost part of his left leg, suffered damaged nerves and tendons in his right leg and lost tissue in one arm. Doctors patched him up and gave him a prosthetic, but he still didn't feel quite right. Memory's never been the same. Like suddenly I'll be angry and then I'll, I'll be sad and it'll just come out of nowhere and it'll be like extreme and it'll make no sense. My ears have always been ringing. A lot of headaches, almost uh, crippling headaches. Like they just come out of nowhere. The doctors told Cook to see a therapist and they prescribed a slew of medications for him, but nothing helped until a friend referred him to Dr. Steven Zanakis, a retired Army Brigadier General and a psychiatrist who believed all those symptoms were consistent with a traumatic brain injury. We're seeing that in the soldiers, who more of them have the IED blast injuries, that they will have problems with attention, with recent memory, with understanding what's going on, and just don't feel right. Dr. Zanakis recommended a new treatment using a hyperbaric oxygen tank. Patients lie in the tank for an hour at a time where they're submerged in 100% oxygen that's under increased pressure. It's similar to going about 17 feet underwater. You're able to deliver almost like twice as much oxygen as you would otherwise get. We think that the oxygen has a direct healing effect on both the neurons and on the very small blood vessels. Patients do 40 sessions total, but Dr. Zanakis says after about 20 sessions, patients usually begin to feel better. Their moods start improving. They feel more alert and focused, and the headaches go away. Uh, being inside the chamber, it's like when you go up on an, on an airplane and um, you have to like pop your ears. William Cook has had close to 40 treatments now. He says he's finally feeling like himself again, which is giving him new hope for the future. He even plans to start college this spring. It's relieving to finally have all these symptoms gone, to have it now feel like I can get on with life.